This is Diane Bish, and I would like to welcome you today to the Joy of Music as we bring you a program of stirring music from one of America's most meaningful and important chapels, the Old Post Chapel in Fort Myer, Virginia, at the gates of the Arlington National Cemetery. With my special guests, members of the United States Army Brass Quintet, thank you for joining us. It is my pleasure to welcome to the Joy of Music today, here at the Old Post Chapel, the United States Army Brass Quintet. As one of the premier brass ensembles in the country today, the quintet is made up of outstanding performers who are members of the United States Army Band, Pershing's Own. They perform regularly in concerts, services, special events, and ceremonies honoring our great country.
It is our honor to be able to perform on the wonderful organ of the Fort Myer Old Post Chapel adjoining the Arlington National Cemetery. The organ of the chapel is one of the most used instruments in the country. The original organ of the chapel was built by the Moeller Organ Company in 1934. However, most recently, the organ has been redesigned and added to by the Allen Organ Company of McCungie, Pennsylvania. Arlington National Cemetery is a place where valor proudly sleeps. America's most hallowed ground devoted to the heroes and pathfinders who here rest in peace. Each stone has a name. Some identify prominent people such as President John F. Kennedy or Audie Murphy, the most decorated soldier in American history. Many names are easily recognized but most others identify those whose names are known only by their loved ones or to God.
Johann Sebastian Bach was one of the greatest composers for the organ, and much of his work was built on the Lutheran chorale. Here in Fort Myer, Virginia, at the Old Post Chapel, adjoining the Arlington National Cemetery, I would like to play one of Bach's best-known chorales and chorale variations on the text, Hark, a voice saith all are mortal, yea, all flesh, must fade as grass, only through death's gloomy portal to a better life ye pass. And this body formed of clay here must languish and decay, ere it rise in glorious might, fit to dwell with saints in light. It's our honor to be able to speak with the superintendent of the Arlington National Cemetery, Mr. John Metzlar. We welcome you to the Joy of Music, John. Thank you very much. Welcome to Arlington Cemetery. Thank you. I understand that you've had quite a history here in the cemetery. I've been very fortunate. I grew up here at Arlington National Cemetery as a youngster. My father had had this job and I came here at the age of four. And uh, this is the only thing I know of growing up is living in Arlington Cemetery. And 20 years ago, uh, my father retired, and, and 13 years ago, I was fortunate enough to come back here to be the superintendent. 
Can you tell us maybe a few of the, of the very meaningful experiences you've had here? Well, probably the most meaningful one is to be able to help families at a time of their need. Uh, they've just lost a loved one, oftentimes unexpectedly, and don't know where to turn, don't know what to do, don't know how to proceed with the next step. And I'm able to get right into the middle of that and, and cut all of the red tape, if you will, answer the direct questions, help them schedule a funeral, and then move on with the burying of their loved one. Tell us, John, what is a typical day here in the cemetery? Well, a typical day consists of tourism, funerals, and ceremonies. Today is an example, we have 26 funerals. Uh, unfortunately, of those 26 funerals, three individuals who died on active duty. Uh, we'll have somewhere between 11 and 14,000 people visiting the grounds of the cemetery. And we'll have ceremonies at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier or at individual graves to commemorate an event, a time, or someone's visit here at Arlington Cemetery. Can you tell us in your own words what this place should mean to Americans? Well, Arlington National Cemetery is our nation's national cemetery, and it is certainly the focal point of our military dead, our special ceremonies, our special events. When we have a tragedy somewhere in the world or in our country, Arlington is where they turn to look to. It's also a place to, to remember, to reflect, and, and just to, to thank those individuals who had given their sacrifice as you look at the rows and rows of thousands of headstones here at Arlington, all those individuals contributed collectively to our way of life. Thank you, John Metzler, for the job that you do well, in my helping us honor these people that have served our nation so well. Thank you very much. Thank you.
My name is Diane Vish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program of music from the Old Post Chapel in Fort Myer, Virginia, outside the gates of the Arlington National Cemetery, with my special guests, the United States Army Brass Quintet. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music.